What up, what up, folks? Welcome back to the channel. On today's e-bike adventure, we're gonna do around a 20 mile trip around Walnut area and West Covina area. We're starting our ride here at uh, Shadow Oak Park. I pre-mapped the route last night. Uh, there's always been some spots that I've always been wanting to explore. Never got a chance until today. We're doing a solo ride. Should take me about two hours if I don't lag. Um, but hopefully we could make a group ride out of this route. Um, I've always wanted to check out Pacific Palms Resort around my area. I always drive by it. It looks like a nice place. So we're going to check that out today and some other spots. Let's get it. Obviously I'm riding my Aerial Rider X-Class 52 volts, which we just got back in our position. And still in 2023, I still recommend this e-bike. All right, a little bit of off-roading here. Something like this, it's not too bad for this bike. Definitely doable. Gravel, you know, nothing too, uh, nothing too extreme. Um, definitely recommend changing your shocks. The rear one is not too good, in my opinion. The front ones, so I've, I've rode different aerial rider um, XS 52 volts forks. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. Um, I, you know, I think there's some kind of inconsistency there. And sometimes they're softer, even after dialing. I think they've been playing around with different brands on the, uh, the front suspensions. But I'm fortunate enough to have this one. This one is, seems like it's the light one and it's not as stiff as other users have. We're gonna hit up Expo Hills, do some exploring. It's a nice warm day on, on this, this December. I'm so happy to be around West Covina or Walnut area. So far it looks like it's a nice place to bike. All right, this is exactly where I've been eyeing, trying to bike here around this uh, Pacific Palms Resort area. Looks like it's a really nice tall trees. I always see people jog on it and I never see any sign that says you can't e-bike here. Otherwise, I always drive by this place to go to my gym. And finally, after five years of uh, living here, I'm finally biking it. Um, I guess that side is an equestrian trail, so that's something um, I'll probably double back on after I do my U-turn over there. But yeah, look how nice and peaceful this is. This is a temple, and we're just cruising by here. Cruising on for about 13 miles per hour. We're gonna try to do the equestrian trail shortly here which is just dirt, it looks like, on my left side. Yeah, I don't know why I don't see enough cyclists here. Looks kind of fun. It's not like a boring straight path sidewalk, you know? It has a little bit of an up, a little bit of a down, and really scenic trees. Industry Hills Expo Center, it's like a private property. We're gonna use like this uh, dirt trail, equestrian trail, double backing uh, towards uh, West Covina where we came from. What's with walkers and runners always having like headphones, two-sided two headphones to where they can't hear a thing? You know, I'm here saying to your left, X, Y, and Z, but they're not gonna hear you. Why do people do that? I'm okay with music, but at least have one one ear available to hear your surroundings. That's almost dangerous. Not being able to hear anything around you. Very peaceful. Thank you. Man, I, can, I can feel people trying to identify my bike. If I belong here or not, I can feel their eyes staring. Or their mind going, does that guy belong here? Should that guy be here? 
Canelo. Yeah, I'm not really surprised I don't see any other bikers here. Even just analog bikers. It's really nice. All right, heading south on Azusa. There's a biker. Let's blast it. No one's, a, no one's ahead. I'm gonna blast it. Next stop, Friendship Park in Muscovina. Again, we're just scouting for nicer routes. You know, like, that's the whole point of having an e-bike is to explore new areas. You never know what you'll find around the corner. Such beautiful spots to, to check out, you know? Hello. Like, Mom, what is that? Mom, that's a motorbike, isn't it? That's all the kids uh, telling their parents. As long as you're not going so fast when there's kids around, and you know, you're just using common knowledge. You're not gonna go 50 miles per hour when there's pedestrians. A little bit of street riding, but mainly bike lanes here on the main street on La Puente Road. Yeah, let's yield left. I have uh, yet to install my signal lights here. I'm gonna do that soon. Yeah, since this is back in our possession, it would be nice to have signal lights. And for signal lights, I recommend the, um, the cycle wing lights because they're visible in the front and the rear. And you don't need to do any kind of soldering or wiring. It's just battery, which which is fine in my opinion. And it's about thirty to forty dollars on Amazon as well. I recommend it. I've been using it for two years now. Welcome to Friendship Park. I think where the kids go on the playground and what have you. All right, this park is very kid-friendly, kid-populated, and um, I think I would only use it as a stop if someone really needs to use the restroom. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm making some routes for a future group ride, hopefully. But the next one we're really looking at is a, it's a walnut park. We're gonna get out of West Covina. And there's also like a, a bridge up ahead that I'm trying to just check out. It's called the Istik, Istik Bridge up ahead. More exploring. I got a little bit of a time. Turn right on Meadow Pass. See, I'm missing all the, uh, the off-roading outlets. I need to find a trail. Get me to a trail, Google. I'm on Colt and Meadow Pass. And I think my map is telling me there's a bridge here. That's private property, but what about here? Oh, here, yeah, here we go. Here's the bridge by the, uh, by the barns. Sweet. Ooh, a little bit of slippery. Oh yeah. Istic Bridge. Heck yeah. Always be sure to take a photo break, guys. An adventure is not worth it if you can't take some souvenirs home. This way doesn't look too hard. Not at all. We're trying to get out of here. And we're gonna go to the uh, Snow Creek Park. This looks like a, an empty stable uh, area. This would be like a cool place to do some movies. Some spooky movies. I wanna see where this goes, so. Let's let's go. Let's ride. Very interested at where this goes. Horse trails have it really good. <laughs> I only recommend it if there's no signs about no biking. You know, so far I haven't seen any signs. If I'm told I can't be here, 
respectfully leave. But that's just my nature is to, to, you know, be at places I haven't been. And I'd rather always be biking by the nature than just by the streets where there's cars and idiot riders. Oh, there's a... There was an uphill to see over there. All right. More equestrian trail. This is nice. It's very neat. Oh yeah. Let's get it. I'm honestly getting wary of um, like big group rides, you know, like running red lights and what have you. And, causing chaos. It's not like the message that I want to put out there for the e-bike community. I'll go to it sometimes. It's definitely fun. Um, but, you know, small group rides are more intimate and you kind of actually get to build more relationships that way with other, you know, new, with other e-bikers. Yeah, it smells like the creek. We're gonna explore this area. City of Walnut. It's amazing. Not too busy either. Alright, let's stand up. This is exactly why I chose the thumb throttle. In case it gets too bumpy, you just stand up. Well, we just arrived Mount Sac area. This is probably a nice uh, break spot area, probably. All right, I kind of considered boba, um, but I don't know, something about it told me um, I should refrain. I'm gonna just uh, head home, pop onto my visibility jacket, call it a day. But it's going to be about 20 miles total by the time I get back at uh, Shadow Oak Park. And besides, I didn't want to leave my, my bike out here. Even for a, for a second, if I had friends with me, then it would be a different story. I am losing light. I just wanted to check out what it would be like biking uh, West Covina and Walnut area. Very cool. Kind of just backtracking here. That's going to be today's ride, folks. Did about 20 miles exploring the city of West Covina, a little bit of La Puente, a lot of Walnut area. Pretty nice scenery. Stick around for more Aero Rider content. Check out the useful links in the description below for additional discounts. This is E-Bike Adventure signing out. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Turn right. Turn right.